Apollo, son of Zeus, king of the gods, and the titan Leta. Outside of films, which I will get into soon, he has yet to truly appear in the continuity except for a mention in episode G, episode G, Requiem, and Next Dimension. In episode G, he was mentioned in mythology with the story of King Minos and the Minotaur. Apollo took part in the Trojan War. The legendary hero and leader of the Trojan War, Hector, was aided by Apollo, God of the Sun, and referred to him as a calm prophet who made him no longer feel pain and to become seemingly invincible until he faced Achilles. We hear about him in episode G, Requiem. Apollo is mentioned by Seiya in a fight against the titan son of Zeus and Alora, Titios, a god who was sent to the underworld and tortured after being shot by an arrow of Apollo and Artemis. I'm sorry, giant. Speaking of Artemis, in Saint Seiya, next I mention, Athena sought Apollo and Artemis' help to help change time, but this was not within his power. That is, more or less it for Apollo in continuity. Beyond that are the movies, technically starting with Legend of the Crimson Youth, the story of Abel, who tried to rebel against the gods, but lost and was sent to destroy Earth. He is sometimes thought to either be Apollo, or Apollo is mentioned as one of the gods to help defeat Abel. Finally, we get his first real appearance in Saint Seiya Overture, where his entrance was pretty cool. He was hyped, he was, he was looked at as powerful, and stated to be beyond anything they have seen before in the website and movie. I still can't really answer what happened at the end, but the popular theory is Apollo restored the universe and manipulated the memories of Seiya and Athena. And that is all we have seen of Apollo at the moment. Fans hope to see him once again. Next Dimension is ending soon, and we have a chance of seeing him once again within the story. But tell me your thoughts in the comments and remember to like, sub, hit the bell. Later.